people and Victoria, welcome to Thea Fun English. Everybody can learn English. Do you know where I am now? Exactly, it's a meeting room. Saya sedang berada di ruang pertemuan dan nampaknya saya datang terlalu awal karena belum ada seorang pun yang muncul. By the way, this is our topic of English for vocational purposes today, which is English at the workplace for a meeting. Ekspresi-ekspresi apa saja dalam bahasa Inggris yang kita gunakan saat menghadiri rapat. Pertanyaan saya, adakah yang sudah pernah terlibat dalam suatu rapat dengan menggunakan bahasa Inggris? Bagi yang belum, bisa simak materi video ini. Bagi yang sudah, bisa tambahkan masukan atau pengalaman kalian pada komen ya. Okay, to start with, look at the words related to types of meeting. We have some words here. Consult the meaning and pronunciation of each word on your dictionary. Check recheck ya, biar makin jago pelafalan kata dalam bahasa Inggris. Ada apa saja? Let's read. Brainstorming. Shareholder. Kick off. Progress. Board. Team. Kalau sudah, let's match the words with the definition. Kalian cocokkan definisi mana yang sesuai dengan kata-kata tersebut. Okay, let's check your answers. Listen carefully because I'm going to read aloud each word and its definitions. Number one, progress. At this type of meeting, you talk about what has been accomplished on a project. Number two, brainstorming. If you need new ideas, you have this type of meeting number three shareholder this is a meeting for a company's investors number four kick off this type of meeting is held at the beginning of a project number five team People who work in the same department have this type of meeting regularly. Number six, board. This is a meeting of a company's most senior managers. Ya, itu tadi macam-macam meeting di kantor beserta pengertiannya. Dalam English at the workplace for a meeting with the fun English, ada enam subtopik yang meliputi arranging a meeting, starting a meeting, agreeing and disagreeing, summarizing the results of a meeting, ending a meeting and thanking participants, and saying goodbye. Dengan referensi buku by Kenneth. Thompson English for Meetings. Kali ini fokus pertama kita adalah arranging a meeting, cara mengagendakan suatu rapat atau pertemuan. Di antaranya asking for a meeting, suggesting a meeting time, saying that you are not able to attend, saying that you can attend. Confirming the day and time. Setelah ini, teman-teman akan mendengarkan audio percakapan. While listening, find the answers of the following questions. 
Jawab tiga pertanyaan berikut. A. What will the meeting be about? Apa topiknya? And then the second one. When will the meeting take place? Asking about time. Kapan? And then C. How long will the meeting last? The durations of the meeting. English for Meetings by Kenneth Thompson Published and copyright Oxford University Press 2007 Unit 1, Exercise 1 Call 1 Ian Sweeney Hello Ian, Mark Peters from the legal department here Oh, hello, Mark. How are you? Fine, thanks. How about you? Not too bad. Busy as ever. Have you got a minute, Ian? I'm calling about some changes we're going to make to the contract with GPT. There are a few clauses I'd like to discuss with you and your team before you start to negotiate the contract. Could we schedule a time to meet next week? Okay, um... How about Monday at nine? Sorry, I can't make it then. I'm at the Brighton office on Monday morning. How about sometime after lunch? Uh, about two? Yes, I can manage that. Okay, I'll get the team together for two. Should we plan for the whole afternoon? We may be able to get through the new version of the agreement quite quickly. But then again, let's leave the length of the meeting open for now. That sounds sensible. So I'll see you on Monday at two. Thanks, Ian. I'll have my assistant send you a quick email to let you know where we're meeting and give you an outline of what I'd like to discuss. See you on Monday then. Sebelum kita bahas, listen once again and complete the following sentences. Lengkapi kalimat berikut sesuai dengan informasi dalam dialog tadi. Silakan dengarkan sekali lagi. English for Meetings by Kenneth Thompson Published and copyright Oxford University Press 2007 Unit 1, Exercise 1 Call 1 Ian Sweeney Hello Ian, Mark Peters from the legal department here Oh, hello Mark how are you? Fine, thanks. How about you? Not too bad. Busy as ever. Have you got a minute, Ian? I'm calling about some changes we're going to make to the contract with GPT. There are a few clauses I'd like to discuss with you and your team before you start to negotiate the contract. Could we schedule a time to meet next week? Okay, um... How about Monday at nine? Sorry, I can't make it then. I'm at the Brighton office on Monday morning. How about sometime after lunch? Uh, about two? Yes, I can manage that. Okay, I'll get the team together for two. Should we plan for the whole afternoon? We may be able to get through the new version of the agreement quite quickly. But then again, let's leave the length of the meeting open for now. That sounds sensible. So I'll see you on Monday at two. Thanks, Ian. I'll have my assistant send you a quick email to let you know where we're meeting and give you an outline of what I'd like to discuss. See you on Monday then. Oke, okay, kita cocokkan ya. I'll read the answers. A. What will the meeting be about? It will be about some changes to a contract with a customer. B. When will the meeting take place? On Monday at 2 p.m. C. How long will the meeting last? No specified time. Meeting will be open-ended. Now complete the sentences. Number one, could we schedule a time to meet next week? Number two, how about Monday at nine? Number three, sorry, I can't make it then. Number four, how about some time after lunch? Number five, should we plan for the whole afternoon? 
Number six, let's leave the length of the meeting open for now. Seven, so I'll see you on Monday at two. Let's read the following phrases. Rasa yang bisa digunakan in asking for a meeting. Could we schedule a meeting to meet next week? I'd like to schedule a meeting as soon as possible. Can we meet and go over this together? Perhaps we could meet and go over the details in person. Next are phrases we can use to suggest a meeting time. How about Monday at 9? How about sometime after lunch? Could we meet next week? Can I suggest 7.30 on Thursday evening? Would half past 5 suit you? Dalam rapat, ada yang bisa hadir dan ada yang mungkin berhalangan hadir. Berikut frasa yang bisa kita gunakan jika tidak dapat hadir. Saying that you aren't able to attend. Sorry, I can't make it then. I'm afraid I have another appointment then. I'm a bit tied up then. How about another time? Namun, apabila kita bisa hadir, rasa ini yang kita gunakan. Saying that you can attend. Sounds good. Yes, that works for me. Yes, that will be fine. Last but not least, kita perjelas lagi untuk waktu pelaksanaan rapatnya. Confirming the day and time. Seperti saya sekarang ini, jangan-jangan saya salah waktu dan tanggal. So this is the expression that you can use to confirm the day and time. See you on Monday at 7. So, I look forward to seeing you on Tuesday at 4. Itu dia tadi bagi kalian yang akan mengagendakan pertemuan. Semoga sharing hari ini tentang English at the Workplace, Arranging a Meeting, dapat bermanfaat. Sampai bertemu di subtopik selanjutnya, yaitu Starting a Meeting, Cara Memimpin Rapat. Thank you so much for joining, keep learning and practicing. Please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to have notification on. Terima kasih banyak semua. Stay safe and be happy. See you soon.